Alrighty, folks, Thanksgiving is upon us again. And that means it's time to go through some of the TikTok reactions from the stellar intellectuals over at that outlet. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. I hate when people politicize the holidays, though. Isn't that so annoying? Like when like my hip liberal friends are like, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. It's racist. Can't we just get drunk on a Thursday, man? <laughs> <laughs> If you're thinking about the pilgrims positively or negatively on Thanksgiving, you're a complete f***ing loser. <laughs> Thanksgiving is about getting your uncle so drunk he admits his affair. Like, that is... But then there's losers on the other side who are like, I can't believe they made Juneteenth a holiday, what the f***? Imagine being so racist you don't want a three-day weekend. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! So, a, a few things. One, you actually should think about the pilgrims on Thanksgiving. And you should think about the origin stories of the United States and why you ought to be grateful for living in the greatest country ever conceived by mankind. Like, we should all be super, duper, duper thankful for that. And it shouldn't just be about you eating turkey and watching football and listening to your annoying relatives. And as far as Juneteenth, the concept of a holiday celebrating the end of slavery in the United States seems totally worthwhile for me. My only problem is if it's set up in opposition to, say, July 4th, Independence Day. Then it's a problem. But the idea of a holiday celebrating the end of slavery, again, one of the great goods that the United States was involved in. I'm not celebrating Thanksgiving, and neither should you, and here's why. Well, first off, that original Thanksgiving story, or as I like to call it, whitewashed history. Is that what you like to call it? Good one. <laughs> Pilgrims and natives helping each other to make a glorious meal in the strongest winter in Jamestown. It didn't happen like that at all. The tribes that were involved in that were actually forced to do that because they were tired of all the torture, unaliving, and graping. <laughs> they were also tired of having blankets covered in smallpox being sent to them. Celebrate Indigenous Peoples Remembrance Day. Data should be actually celebrated and not the thing that we're celebrating. Celebrating stolen land. You are free to give up that, that house anytime you choose. Give it over to a nice Native American family. I'm sure they will be happy to take it. I live where the land meets the sky, under the sun and the it moon. It says no soliciting. What are you doing here? Of course, American history is filled with horrific treatment of Native Americans. Nobody is denying any of that, but that is not what is being celebrated. If there's one thing about Thanksgiving that I f hate, it's cranberry sauce. Do they still teach in schools that Thanksgiving was a happy ceremony this between the so indigenous high. people and the colonizers? Oh, yeah. Rest assured, I can assure you it was not a happy time. Oh, that's because you're never happy. There was a lot of genocide happening. And fashion genocide happening. Image is everything. Image is everything. Image is everything. <laughs> Why, why the sides? Hey, you don't like a good mashed potatoes? What's wrong with that? Some sweet potatoes and some marshmallow on it? It's just food. We got some more of this idiocy in a second. First, I want to talk to you about Daily Wire's most trusted privacy partner and premier sponsor of this show, ExpressVPN. You've heard me talk about how important it is to have a VPN to protect your online privacy, but choosing a VPN you trust is equally as important. I only recommend brands to my listeners that I actually believe in, so I can say with full confidence, ExpressVPN is the best VPN on the market. ExpressVPN doesn't log your activity online. Lots of cheap or free VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers, but ExpressVPN doesn't do this. They even developed a technology that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing data at all. ExpressVPN now uses Lightweight. It's a new VPN protocol they engineered to make user speeds faster than ever. I've tried a lot of VPNs in the past. They can sometimes slow my connection, but ExpressVPN is always blazing fast and lets me stream videos in HD quality with no buffering. ExpressVPN, so easy to use. You don't need any technical skills to get it set up. Just fire up the app, tap one button, and now you're connected. That's it. Even your grandparents could do it. To actually stop people from monitoring your online activity, you need to do what I do and use ExpressVPN. Use my link at expressvpn.com slash benyt to get three extra months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash benyt, expressvpn.com slash benyt, and get that three extra months of coverage today. No okay, white Mary, people food bring? allowed white Friendsgiving. I brought Papa La Vancaina and Inca Cola from Peru. Kira, that doesn't look good, though. For not white Thanksgiving. I made Japanese fried chicken, karage. I'm just going to point out that um, when it comes to celebrating not white Thanksgiving with Japanese cuisine, the Japanese are not famous for not being colonizers. Like, ask the Chinese. 
He did it. A little bit of history goes a long way. Marissa, what did you bring for not white Thanksgiving? That's a white lady. She brought herself. Hi, this is Marissa, and I brought beans and rice. And they're from Rancheritos. I like that that lady's bringing Colombian food. Colombia was colonized by the Spanish in the 15th century. Felicity, what did you bring to not white Thanksgiving? I brought a Mediterranean uh, entree dish. That's not a dish, that's vegetables. Suman, what did you bring and what is it from? I bought Hanjok John and it's from South Korea. Wait, by the way, South Korea, a country only free because the United States sacrificed extraordinary levels of blood and treasure to keep that country free. That's the fact, Jack! Yeah. Opera um, cake of what is that? It's a Taiwanese cake. Oh, you know, another country that is only uh, independent of China because the United States expends an extraordinary amount of money to keep Taiwan free of China. It is very entertaining to watch all these people who really, really hate white people and are bringing food from countries that literally only exist as independent polities because of white people. Damn! <laughs> Jake, what did you bring and where is it from? Um, this is wontons from a Chinese restaurant that we found in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a Chinese, a Chinese restaurant that you found in Florida. You mean like where you're living? I don't see, by, by the way, I noticed they're in Florida. You know where Florida is? In the United States. You're so smart. You're so effing smart. It turns out that every single person at this dinner is from a different part of the planet, or maybe they're all born in the United States, but uh, I noticed that none of them are Seminoles. So there's that. I love the idea of Thanksgiving. I love the idea of a day of gratitude and spending time with your family. And I actually love the weird food. What I don't like is uh, the underlying tragedy and genocide that we ignore on that day. Why do we put our children in costumes of people that showed up and robbed graves and did terrible things and brought disease and, and, and just took things. That's not great. That's terrible. Okay, first of all, again, all human history, story of migration of populations and conflict between those populations. When she talks about, oh, they brought disease with them. Um, you mean like people showed up and those people had diseases that other people were not immune to? You mean like all of human history? Took land from people who are already here. Again, you mean like the entire story of human civilization? Get off my property! Also, do not trust the pilgrims. I don't see any. I mean, like, where, where are they? And don't trust them with what? Like money management? What are we talking about with the pilgrims? Fashion sense? To set up children from the age of preschool to believe that it's right and okay to just take everything is actually truly horrible. You're so stupid! Is that what you learned on Thanksgiving? Like when you had a Thanksgiving play when you were in third grade, is that what they taught you? Like, Bob, go over there and punch that kid right in the f***ing face and take everything. <laughs> just do it in the name of Thanksgiving like the pilgrims would have. I want you to just spit. Just like spit. Just give that kid your crap. Just do it right now and hope he dies in the hospital. And then take all his shit. That's what they taught you in third grade for the 1,000th time. Sin is universal. Goodness is unique. And so what we are celebrating on Thanksgiving is the origin story of the United States of America, which is a uniquely amazing place. It's teaching appropriation from the very beginning. So no wonder, you know, when they get to high school, they think it's fine to wear the, these headdresses. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh my God. They think it's fine to wear headdresses. Well, I see that you think that it's fine to wear Western garb. Where's that t-shirt from? I assume that you got it off of Amazon and had it pre-printed somewhere. My son this morning comes up to me and asks me about Thanksgiving and how it came about. So I told him the truth, you know, the PG version. And I continued to tell him that, you know, a man named Christopher Columbus came, but there was already indigenous people here. He tried to make friends with them and then turned around and stabbed them in the back. That's right. By oofing that's not them because I don't use the other word. That's the wrong holiday. And my son turns around and says, Mommy, why do people celebrate Thanksgiving? I don't want to celebrate Thanksgiving. Not everyone should be a parent. Honest to God, if I have to watch another one of these extremely woke people complain about how terrible the United States is while being of extremely low intellectual quality, I'm going to shove my head in the turkey oven. What are you doing for Christmas? Christmas? I mean, I gotta get the Thanksgiving first. I'm going to give all turkeys back in the hood. I'm with you, you want me to go? You will? I appreciate it though, big dog. Hang on. But I'm gonna be in the hood giving out turkeys, trying to restore my community. That's good stuff from Marshawn Lynch. Yeah! Gotta enjoy some Marshawn Lynch now and then. I'm just here so I won't get fined. The reason that you should celebrate Thanksgiving is because you live in the greatest country ever created. And that country was initiated with, yes, the help of some Native Americans. And that is good. 
And none of that wipes away the bad parts of history by pretending that the good parts of history don't exist or that we shouldn't celebrate the creation of the United States. If you really feel that way, I suggest that you buy a one-way ticket and there are plenty of places you can go and they all suck.